wonder if these people know what the term primary source means. That's the one they're saying is a vagina. What they need is a lawyer to cross-examine them. That's what would be fun. So I stumbled across this article today. I was watching a YouTube channel called the Lotus Eaters podcast, but it's, I told you earlier, it's this person that decided to characterize Jesus as a transgender person, not based off of scripture or anything else, based off of a painting. It's heresy. Worshippers left in tears as Cambridge Dean claims Jesus may have been transgender after row over Christ's wound having a vaginal appearance. <laughs> <laughs> or if these people know what the term primary source means. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no way. A Cambridge research student claimed Christ had a trans body during a sermon. He compared Christ's side wound depicted in medieval paintings to a vagina. Yeah, I'm just going to read a little bit. This is the guy, I think. Uh, he looks no. like he would. Wait, no, hold on. Oh, he has stepped in. This is the dean of the Trinity College, Dr. Michael Banner, has stepped in to back up the view of a transgender Jesus after a junior researcher fellow claimed Christ had a trans body. Yeah, and then, how, and then once this even happens, how does this even get in the news? It's like two people have a very, very stupid take. And then I wonder how many news places are covering this. Uh, and it's like, I would assume not many. However, okay. however, if you look at just the right side here, of all of these other things that are in the news, <laughs> which have way <laughs> way less significance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you wonder you wonder what their history is. Why would they obviously so the evidence they're looking at doesn't point to the conclusion that they're drawing. So you wonder what it is that led up to this moment where they're seeing where they're wanting this to be what they see so badly that this is what they're seeing. You know, it makes you want to get in their heads. I don't know. Listen to what this says. The side wound takes on a decidedly vaginal appearance, said Heath, whose PhD was supervised by the former Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams. <laughs> Let it be known that academia is no longer credible if this is the kind of thing that's getting It's like uh, it, this hole in the flesh resembles a vagina, which is also a hole in the flesh. It's like, okay, don't all holes in flesh look like a vagina according to this sort of logic? <laughs> Okay, in Christ's simultaneously masculine and feminine body in these works, if the body of Christ, as these works suggest, the body of all bodies, then his body is also the trans body. That didn't even... That didn't even That's seem like... That's like a like, theological jump now. Right, but the English was not very good on that either. In Christ's simultaneously masculine and feminine body in these works is the body of Christ, as these works suggest, the body of all bodies. And his body is also the trans body, claimed the researcher. You know, there's always this weird pull where ideologies want to suck Jesus into their fold. Yeah. You saw this in the Nazi movement. They had the Aryan Jesus who was in every way lockstep with the rest of the Nazis. There's never any talk about primary sources or multiple attestation early in time or anything like that. No, it's just a puppet. It might as well be a puppet of Jesus. At that point, why not just draw your own picture of Jesus with a with a trans body and then claim that Jesus was trans? I mean, if evidence doesn't count anyway, you know. What's that line from Tolkien that uh, evil can only corrupt, it cannot create? <laughs> the worshippers cried heresy and it says that people left in tears, which I don't know if it's tears because they're crying or tears because they're laughing so hard. Either, <laughs> I, either one is probably good so many lessons here here's another one if you're a christian <laughs> quit getting so angry when people say dumb stuff just laugh at it point yeah. out why it's stupid yeah you know yeah you don't need to get so angry right in a letter to the dean one worshiper said i left the service in tears you offered to speak with me afterwards but i was too distressed i am com i am contemptuous of the idea that by cutting a hole in a man through which he can be penetrated he can become a woman yeah there's a lot of commentary you can have on here like does creating a hole in a person automatically make them a woman is that what it is in someone's side uh, yeah are, are trans guys getting cuts in their side now and saying that's a vagina they might as well i mean you know you know what's interesting about this there's this deeper spiritual battle that's always happening in the gospels with the identity of jesus right right even jesus's temptation in the desert the devil's always trying to put jesus in some sort of box if you're the son of 
God, then do this or that. Or he's trying to make Jesus in whatever image he wants. And then Peter later on says, uh, no, you can't go die for our sins or whatever it is he says. Right. And right. Just, just get behind me. Say, Peter's trying to compress him into his own Jesus. Mm -hmm. Judas, I think my own theory is that Judas was sitting around watching Jesus, waiting for him to be this conqueror Messiah. Jesus never stepped up to the plate. And so he thought, maybe if I turn him over to the the Grammatei and Pharisei, he'll, you know, he'll either be pressured to do what I want him to do or he'll be exposed as a fraud. Uh, but it, it's huh. all these times where G they're trying to put this identity on Jesus that isn't Jesus. And I think there's a spiritual element to this and that's it. Yeah, it's almost like you were just blindsided by something actually deep coming out of the story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's almost like the sinful nature of man doesn't change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that person. I that wonder wrote... though, like if you got him drunk or gave him truth serum, he really thinks that this is a trans Jesus. How I don't know how he could. It's in his side. It's from thirteen hundred years later. I think he just wants to say that it that it's trans. I don't maybe think he actually believes it. Maybe he's trying to get points with somebody. Maybe. I mean, that's a big part of this new religion, right? Yep. It's They always want to broadcast it as widely as possible and be accepted into the fold. And yeah. They're always trying to one-up each other with how woke they can be. They have this god that they've created, and not only have they created this god, but they're trying to earn salvation via that god through the works that they're doing yeah i definitely think i mean jesus never said this but i definitely think he was an advocate of what's called the correspondence theory of truth where truth is based it has to be it, it's values measured by how it relates to how reality actually is so it's not just like something's true because i want it to be true it's true because that's the way it is let's see what you think about the trinity college's reply so a spokesperson, so not the dean or not the researcher, but a spokesperson for Trinity College said, the college would like to make clear the following. Neither the dean of Trinity College nor the researcher giving the sermon suggested Jesus was transgender. The sermon addressed the image of Christ depicted in art and various interpretations of those artistic portrayals. The sermon's exploration of the nature of religious art in the spirit of thought-provoking academic inquiry was in keeping with open debate and dialogue at the University of Cambridge. Cambridge. See, that sounds super postmodern. That sounds like that Jack Derrida or whatever the... What's funny yeah. is that that uh, he's a postmodernist writer and he wrote that quote that says, uh, there is no context, only interpretation. Yep. And somebody mistranslated his quote and he got super mad about it. It's oh, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you can't... <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. You almost you need objective truth in order to say there's no objective truth. It doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like they're just bringing it to the table to have a discussion. They're trying to push their worldview on somebody and when it gets shut down or when people resist, they just back off and they say, "Oh no, I was just trying to bring it to the table." What they need is a lawyer to cross-examine them. That's what would be fun, you that know, because it's just just clouds of bull crap. And it's just like well, so what did you actually mean when you said that he was on such and such a day at this time, you said that he was a trans man. Did you mean that he was a trans man or that he wasn't? What did you mean? Just take a look at this wound here. That's the one they're saying is a vagina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. How many women have you met that have a vagina right under their dude? <laughs> you know? 